Hello everybody, welcome back to a Factual Fingers video. Today I'll be reading, Today is the day humanity was destined to fall. This is a subscriber submitted post. If you have your own stories, be sure to send them in. It was midday, 12.15pm. Oh how I wish I could go back to then and turn it around from this horrific place. It's crazy how in a single moment, single thought, one decision can change someone's life and change humanity forever. I lived the life in an upper middle class family but now it seems to have only crumbled right in front of me. It started as a typical day, my father, my mother and my younger brother are all still here in the place I called home and on a place we call earth. Now I am lost. It's just me sitting in the living room, writing this out as I try to figure out my next moves. It was never meant to end like this. Anyways, I'm off track. It was a typical day, woke up, morning routine that never seemed to change no matter what happened. Everything was complete and I was ready for the day ahead. I'm on school break at the moment and we have some tests coming up. It was set. I was to spend the entire day studying. I was trying to become a valedictorian. These tests would set me up for the recognition I needed to become one. I am academically smart, but godly am I socially awkward. I have no friends and for an adolescent, this is obviously not good. Isolation and a lack of socialization can be detrimental to a person's health and clearly others. Once again, I'm off track. My mind is aimlessly walking around this pit of darkness that has fallen upon me. Anyways, I was in the study room preparing. The study room seems to be the only safe place to me. I spend days upon days sitting in the confinement of the room. The noise suppression the room brings only makes it worse. It's just me in the room with these books I've devoted my life to and the books that told me to do it. Or should I say, the abuse that the books recall. Every time I'd be abused, it went into these books that I wrote. It only grew and grew. There were cracks beginning to form the damn walls and the waters that were suppressed were violent and dangerous ones. The ones that cannot be stopped and will not be stopped if it gets going. I was prepared, ready to go. This was the final book that got put onto these shelves. The last bit of hell that gets released onto these papers. I left the confinement of that god the study room, prepared to release the wrath that god wished for me to hammer down on these disgusting people. Wealthy, materialistic, godless, non-warriors. God hates what his creations have become. Non-warriors, self-entitled, soulless human beings. I've decided to change this. I left that room with an absolute hatred to the people that were on this earth. I first entered my younger brother's room. Asleep, of course. It's fucking midday and this kid is still in bed. While I am ready to change his life, or should I say, end his godless life, I wanted to end it quickly for him. So, I slit his throat, and being sure to slice his jugular into two, he died quickly. The power I felt flowing through my veins, nothing is going to stop me. My mother is a weak individual, I knew I could get her easily, but my dad on the other hand would have been difficult. But when you have someone at your mercy, it is pretty easy to get what you want from them. I found my dad in the garage, shock, working on polishing his brand new car for the hundredth time. Well, too bad, I plunged my knife straight into his throat. He looked at me shocked, pale, like he didn't see this coming. All of the signs were there, in plain sight but no one pays attention to detail anymore. He was blind to the signs that ended him. Now he will enter the pits and his body shall be taken over. My mother actually put up a bit of a fight, but when you slash someone enough times, they end up figuring out it is totally hopeless. And they end up giving up. She died after being slashed 38 times all across her body. The power that surged through my veins was endless. It entered my heart and left all the same. I feel immortal, untouchable by these measly people. Anyways, as I finish writing this, they are coming back. My brother's soul has finally fallen down to hell to never return. His body has been taken over by an angel that is under my command. As my mother and my father begin to fall, their bodies will be taken over by these angels. Remember, I am simply God's warrior, a fighter. God is sending these angels down to cleanse this disgusting earth. I will leave this place to go fulfill God's wishes. Many more shall fall down to the hells, and their body will return for the angels to take over to help me cleanse this place. This is a warning. We are coming for you. There will be no stopping us, only joining us. So if you wish to not suffer, just join us and you will not have to suffer. You are only suffering human life.
but not after. Human life is temporary, afterlife is eternity. Make your choice.